Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wiretesters.com. Today we have the performance review on these guys right here. This is the Under Armour Curry 4. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is the first time that we have not seen herringbone use on a Curry model, and I have to be honest, I'm not mad at that. The spiral traction takes care of all angles, all directions, it's multi-directional, it's awesome. You got linear coverage, you got lateral coverage, this stuff is great. If there's dust present, you're definitely going to want to keep wiping to keep them clean, which is normal for any shoe, but in between those wipes is the crucial points, are you slipping or not? And with these guys, I was not. My floor, man, my floor, my 24, even after you broom it, it's, it's really slick. I don't know why, I think they need to refinish. It, but these guys still stuck to the floor like glue. I'm very, very satisfied with these. I'm usually like, yo, herringbone, the way to go. But this, again, I'm just, I'm not mad at it. I think this was fantastic. Now the cushion, I still don't know what it is. There's no available tech specs on what is in here. We don't know if it's a Micro G carrier with charge in the back. We don't know if it's charged all the way through. All I can tell you is how it feels on foot. And I'll say this, it's, it's minimal. Just like every curry before it, it's definitely on the firm side because stability is basically their goal here. This is a guard shoe. A prolific score at that. This guy needs to have his feet set and planted quickly without any delay. And when you have plush cushion, you usually have some sort of delay, at least mentally. If you are if you feel like you're sinking into the shoe too much, it's going to affect you just a little bit. And so they try to take that completely out of the equation here. It's not firm to the point to where it's uncomfortable, but it's firm enough to where you can feel that you are secure and stable upon any movements that you might make. If I were to compare them to any of the past Curry models, it's kind of similar to the Curry too, where you definitely feel low to the ground. It's a little bit on the firm side, but not in a bad way. It just really depends on what you're looking for. If you need cushion, this is not the shoe for you. If you're looking for court feel and stability, this is where it's at. Now the materials on these guys are interesting. The entire shoe is very sleek, very slender, and it's comprised of a knitted upper, which basically gives you a sock-like fit. And then you have this overlay right here of synthetic leather that I just think feels great and it looks great. I just, I really like the contrast between the two. The overlay material with the synthetics have been very durable. The knit hasn't stretched too much either. It still feels great. If anything, it gets better over time. The very first wear definitely feels almost suffocating, but the more that you break these guys in, the more they kind of conform and fit right around your foot, giving you a one-to-one -one fit, which I think is awesome. Now, as far as fit, true to size is what I would recommend. This shoe right here kind of hinders on the overall fit. The structure of the shoe and the support are very minimal. Everything from the upper down to the tooling, super minimalistic. And as you can see right here, there's not a whole lot of structure to the overall upper. So if you do not get your proper size, it's not gonna be good for you. You're gonna get a sloppy fit and they're just not gonna work the way that they were intended or designed to. I've said this before and I'll say it a million times not every shoe is made for every person I know that some people really want to try this shoe out but if you don't go true to size you probably won't have the best experience in them the design of these guys right here were just made to be one-to-one -one. any extra dead space within the upper and you're gonna lack a lot of support now the overall lockdown is fantastic so long as you get your actual size like I said before the materials right here is just kind of like a sock so you're supposed to get a snug one-to-one -one fit and once you lace everything up you pretty much get that starts off a little suffocating at first like I said just give it some time it's not too long the breaking process is pretty quick and everything will be good to go now something to note is that underneath the eyelet panels are reinforced pieces just to make sure that that knit doesn't actually break or rip when you tighten things up there is one small section right here there, there's basically two panels there's one panel here and one panel there and there's a section right here at the top that actually dug into my foot quite a bit and it did cause a little bit of pain but that area does break in just give it some time like I said if you're having some issues loosen up the laces right in that section so it's not causing a lot of pressure to dig into your your foot afterwards you should be good to go now the overall support like I said really relies on the fit all of the support is coming from the tooling which is crazy so as long as you get the proper fit within the upper it's going to keep your foot solid on the footbed and all of the support is just right here in the heel right where it needs to be you have an internal heel counter right here albeit a small one but then the midsole tooling is just kind of like right where everything's at this is supposed to cup your heel and make sure that it stays within the footbed which it does an excellent job of and then you can see right here it's a little bit more exaggerated than the rest of the upper so it's just a nice 
nice stable base right there. A wider platform to work off of. You have the stabilizer plate poking out of the lateral side right here. Again, just keeping your foot on the footbed upon lateral movements. And then they also do the same thing right here in the forefoot with the midsole sculpt as well. The shoe kind of reminds me of the Air Jordan 11 where it's just an anatomically correct shoe. This shoe was made and mapped after the foot. And so that's exactly what they're going for. They're going for clean lines, natural lines, and things that are supposed to enhance your foot's natural mobility. And then underfoot, you also have some torsional support as well with the TPU plate. It says that it's a spring plate as well. I didn't really notice it one way or the other. I just know that everything was secure and supported once I was locked into the shoe. I'm not the springiest of athletes. I'm just a shooter and I shoot very well in this shoe. Although I shoot pretty well in most shoes, so take that for what it's worth. So overall, these are a fantastic guard shoe. I have to say it's probably my favorite of the Curry line, especially with the fit, which was completely awesome. Traction as well. If you need any more cushion, an insole swap might be the way to go. But like I said, not every shoe is made for every person. This is a low profile shoe. So if you're looking for an abundant amount of cushion, this is not the sneaker for you. There are plenty of other shoes that have a ton of cushion out there. This is for a mobile guard that needs a lot of stability. Knowing what you need in a basketball shoe is very important when picking them. So hopefully this information actually helps you out. Speaking of information, if you need any more, including their weight and their scores, you can always go to weartesters.com. Link is going to be in the description box below. In the description box, you'll also find a link to eastbay.com where you can grab these upon their release. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you played in the Curry 4, let me know what your experience was down below in the comment section. I always love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, have a good one.